Hey guys, so today's makeup is on my beautiful friend Mez. I did this look on her for a engagement party. So I'm starting out by cleansing her face with a Tarte makeup wipe. Then I'm using, moving on to the eyes and I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm just applying this all over the lid with a Real Techniques domed shadow brush. Then I'm using the Tarte Pro palette and I am taking the lightest creamy shade and I'm just buffing this all over the lid. And then I'm going in with the shade down the bottom and it's a really good just transition shade for Mez's skin tone. So that is what I use to apply in her crease. Then I'm going in with the darker brown and I'm just applying this in the outer corner and then buffing the excess through the crease as well. I'm using a Sigma E40 brush to do so and I do have tape on the sides of her eyes just to make sure there's a nice crisp line. And here I'm going in with a Sigma E25 brush which is just a lot more precise. Next up I'm taking the black from the shade and I'm starting to build this up in the outer corner with the E25 brush and then I'm slowly bringing the excess product through the crease and I'm trying to be careful not to bring it onto the lid too much because we are doing a cut crease but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to conceal the lid anyway. Here I've swapped to a pencil brush just to build up the darkness of the black shade along the lash line and the outer corner. And then going back in with the E25 just to blend the edges and make sure everything looks nice and seamless. Here I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to apply this with a little inner corner detailer brush from Sigma. So I'm trying to create a really crisp line. Here I'm just blending out the concealer by patting it. I don't want to blend because I wanted to keep it nice and crisp. And here I'm taking the pencil brush once again and then a tiny little blender brush just to clean up the edges and make sure they don't look too, too harsh. Here I'm applying the white shade from the palette and I'm just pressing this onto the lid where we put the uh, concealer. Then I'm creating a wing using the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner in the shade black and I'm using a little winged eyeliner brush, angled eyeliner brush I think it's called, from Sigma. And then I'm just going back in with the white shade and using that along the brow bone just to make sure it was nice and highlighted. Then I'm going in with mascara, so I'm using a disposable mascara wand with the Maybelline um, False Lash Effect Mascara. I forget what this one's called but it will be linked down below. And then I applied a pair of false lashes, these are ones Mez brought so I'm not too sure what they are. Then I'm moving on to the skin and I'm priming using the Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer. So I'm just applying this all over her skin. And then I'm using NARS She Glow Foundation because this is my tried and true. I know this looks beautiful in photography and it lasts all night long. So I'm using the shade Punjab on Mez and I'm just using a beauty blender to press this into her skin. Then I'm cream contouring with the Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm taking the cream contour shade and I'm just applying this with a flat foundation brush. I'm so sorry I'm stumbling over my words today. So I'm applying it onto her cheekbones and around her hairline and I'm just using the Beauty Blender to blend it all out. And then I'm concealing her under eyes and highlighting the center of her face using my uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just applying this to the skin. I would generally not apply from the doe foot on a client but because she's my friend I just did that. She's not like an actual client and I'm just blending it out using the Beauty Blender again. And then to set everything I'm going to bake a little bit using the RCMA No Color Powder. So I am applying a hefty amount under her eyes and underneath the contour. Then while that is baking I'm going to do her brows. So I'm using the Colourpop Brow Pomade stuff in Dope Taupe and I'm just applying this all through her brows. And then to carve them out I'm using my Cryolan 
um, cream conceal and contour kit called something along those lines so I'm carving out underneath the brow and then above the brow as well to make sure they were nice and sharp Then I'm going in and just dusting away all the setting powder and I'm going to use some more of the RCMA cap powder to set all of the rest of her face. So I'm just putting some basically on her um, chin, her nose and her forehead. And then I'm going to use the powder contour shade from the Tarte Pro Glow palette and just apply this using a Sigma small contour brush and carve out her cheekbones and around her hairline and a little bit down her sides of the nose. And then for blush I used NARS Deep Throat Blush. This is a beautiful shade and I feel like it complemented the look really well. So I'm just applying that to the apples of her cheeks. And then to highlight I first used this Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter and I'm just applying this to the high points of the face and down the center of the face. So the cupid's bow, the tip of the nose, the bridge and above the arches of the brows and the chin. Then to finish off the eyes, I took the deep brown shade that I used through the crease underneath the lower lash line. So I'm just using that to buff underneath there. And then I'm going in with the black on a pencil brush and I'm just really buffing this close to the lash line. And then I'm going in with the Pro Glow To Go palette and I'm just using the top shade to highlight her inner corners. And I also used a little bit of this just on the tops of her cheekbones as well. Then to set her brows, I'm using the Pony Cosmetics Zebra Brow Eyebrow Gel and I'm applying that all through the brows to set them. And then I go in with a metallic brown eye pencil from Models Prefer and just a coat of mascara on the lower lashes. And then for lips, I went in with the Makeup Store Nude Beauty Lip Liner and I lined her lips completely and then I filled them in using the Rimmel and Kate Moss Nude Collection in the shade number 43 and that completed the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial on someone else let me know if you did down below and I will see you in my next video bye Do some posing. Are we allowed to talk? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the dimples are actually you're genetically not good.